Did you know that in update 38 of Bloom's TD6, Ninja Kiwi was going to be adding a brand new skin for Admiral Brickle, and on that skin was going to be a red cross. But here's the thing, Ninja Kiwi may not have known at the time, but that, my friends, is a war crime. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. They're about to commit a war crime in BTD6. Now, the community gave them some feedback, and so they were able to make the change before they implemented the skin. But today, we are going to give you guys the top 10 war crimes that are still committed in Bloons TD6. So without further ado, let's get started. And please remember that for the most part, <laughs> this is just, uh, we're just poking and having fun, okay? Just, it's no big, uh, we're not trying to actually make a big deal out of this. <laughs> All right, moving on to number one. Number one biological experimentation. It is technically a war crime to have biological experiments. And so the middle path alchemist is definitely 1 million percent a biological experimentation. Look at this guy. He's literally, he's just got potions. He's experimenting in his lab. Like this is not Osho safe. That's an Osho violation. As you can see, he chose a total transformation and turns into a biological weapon, which by standard is not okay and is considered a war crime. Number two, did you know that Adora sacrificing towers is actually technically a war crime? As you can see here, we have Adora. And when you sacrifice people, it's technically causing willful great suffering to people, which is a war crime. So if we get a uh, dart monkey down here and we have Adora just go ahead and sacrifice that dart monkey. That's causing willful suffering to another person, okay? That monkey's gone, bro. <laughs> It ain't ever coming back. I, I, I mean, I think that's... Let's see, is the door more powerful now? It should be boosted from the whole... Come out here. Suck up another one. Suck. Yeah, take him. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, Adora. <laughs> oh, man. Adora committing war crimes, baby. Who would have known? Who would have guessed? <laughs> this guy. I know. That's why I'm telling you. Number three, extensive property damage. It is technically a war crime to commit extensive damage to a property if not really needed by military incentives. Well, if you're on the map skates, you can literally just sink these three houses. You could just sink them into the ocean. Maybe you can argue that it's military needed because now you can put more military weapons and things down there, but those were three houses. I think this would definitely classify as a war crime. Number four, Necromancer or Prince of Darkness is committing a war crime. Now, why do you ask? Well, right here I have it written down that Necromancer is compelling a prisoner of war or other protected person to serve in the forces of a hostile power. So if we go ahead and just go, let's start round 63 here. And look at that, we're turning them again. Wow, I'm losing, yikes. We're turning them against their own people, against their will. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a war Crime! Prince of Darkness, you monster. Who would have guessed that this guy, look at that guy, look at his face. Does that look like the face of an animal, a monster, a terrible person to you? Because it does to me, actually. That's actually like a textbook definition of a terrible person. Like super evil. We got like the souls of people coming out. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a war crime, baby. <laughs> Number five, unlawful deportation or transfer or unlawful confinement. Did you know it's actually a war crime for unlawful containment? And of course, keeping prisoners in an incredibly small space. Therefore, the bottom path engineer monkey. When you go ahead and get balloon trap or XXL trap and trap balloons in them, that is, that is not okay, all right? When you have all of these balloons, look at all of these balloons. Look at all, look at how many of them there are. And they're all being squeezed into this super tiny space and then transferred off. That is not okay. That is, that is apparently, this is, I'm learning a lot in this video, might I just add, okay? I've learned a lot. Uh, we did a lot of research into war crimes and understanding how this whole thing works. And I'm kind of glad that we have a list of things that's like, hey, uh, don't do this. It's not that good. So, bat, shame on you, Engine. Look at his smile. Look at his smile. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't care. He's sitting on his box proudly. He doesn't care in the slightest. Are the monkeys the bad guys? Number six, this one's gonna get ya. <laughs> glue Gunner. Who would have guessed that Glue Gunner is a terrible person? But you know what? Yeah, they are. Because Glue Gunner is committing a war crime. <laughs> 
Apparently, Dot Bath here is employing asphyxiating, poisonous, or other gases, and all a nag, uh, 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 not nagging, analogous liquids, materials, or devices. Okay, that's a war crime. And so we go ahead and get down little glue gunner. Ah, oh, look at him. He's so happy. Oh, he's scratching his head. Look, what? I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, you do. Don't play dumb with me, man. All right, because if we go over here, we got something called balloon. Corrosive glue? That's a T2 upgrade, dude. We don't even. Oh, come on. Let's send. Let's send a couple red balloons and see what happens. That's a war crime, baby. <laughs> That's actually a war crime, straight up. Let's, let's get balloon solver and let's end 93. That right there is not okay. Oh, and we can't see camos, but that doesn't matter because we're still committing a war crime. Glue gunner, you, you little prankster, you little jokester, dude. Look at that. That does not look like it should be allowed in war. Well, war is bad altogether, so I guess. <sighs> look, man, I'm just reading what it says. Number seven, using bullets or weapons that expand or flatten. In terms of the Geneva Convention and of war crime, you are not supposed to use bullets that expand or flatten or change. This includes shrapnel shots. This includes everything like frag bombs. So technically, using frag bombs or also getting a sniper that has shrapnel shot, damage balloons spray out a cone of sharp shrapnel. Those are also not acceptable in terms of warfare. So technically, this is this is not allowed sorry but i absolutely love shrapnel shot because it's so nice and pops a lot of balloons so cluster bombs apparently all of these things apparently are just like not allowed which i think is i well sorry bad shame on you mr sniper monkey and shame on you mr bomb shooter number eight now this one's a little more i guess straightforward since we're talking about a military tower but we are putting it on the list nonetheless because number eight is burning stuff on the mortar monkey it employs weapons projectiles and materials and methods of warfare which are of a nature to cause superfluous injury or unnecessary suffering so let's go ahead and see why mortar monkey bernie stuff fits right into that description so first off like, here let's go ahead and get rid of that <gasps> did we just nuke that tower is that a war crime in its own thing is that did we just do another war crime? Bernie stuff. War crime, baby! Right there, did you see it? Did you see it? War crime right there! That's a war crime! <laughs> oh, what's up, everybody? Today, we're gonna be playing Spot the War Crime. Man, yeah, no, that's a war crime, though. And it's a war crime if you don't use Crater Code Tuber in the Balloon City Safe Shop, by the way. That's T-E-W-B-R-E -E in the BT Safe Shop. <laughs> Thank you in advance. Thank you in advance. Let's move on. Number nine, enlisting children. It is a war crime to enlist children under the age of 15 to fight in your war. So therefore, Sai is actually breaking, he's, he's, Sai is committing a war crime. Or I guess whoever enlisted Sai into the military and the monkey military is committing a war crime. If you look, it literally says a gifted monkey child. It's a, it's, Sai is a child fighting in a war. He's fighting in a war. What is, what is happening? This is absolutely crazy and outrageous but Sai is also incredibly powerful and completely annihilates and destroys most balloons with ease so i'd probably hire him too i'm glad he's on the team and finally last but not least we're doing number 10 trophy skins i know i know who would have guessed that trophy skins would be a war crime but it is because it's committing outrages upon personal dignity in particular humiliating and degrading treatment so let's go ahead and look at these trophies and see if it's humiliating or degrading is that a boat in moab that's actually kind of sick but that's not the point my point is that googly eyes imagine if you captured your enemy and you were like okay well we gotta we gotta we, i want i want to make this person feel terrible about themselves so you glue googly eyes to their face and force them down a line come on what disguise glasses well actually that's probably just the balloons trying to get away with things oh the elephants come on is this not taunting this is this is this has, this has to be degrading dude come on man i mean even the moabs like uh, well, some of these look really cool though man some of these are actually really cool with something that's like actually degrading cat ears no that's kind of cool bunny yeah look man googly eyes it's good enough 
All right, it's degrading to the balloons, and that's number 10. Let us know if you guys think of any other war crimes down in the comment section below. And always remember that we're just having fun here. We're not actually trying to make a big deal out of war crimes in balloons DD6. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more awesome, just awesome, outrageous top 10s in balloons DD6, okay? Smash that like button. And we'll see you next time.